Hey Motor Riders, it's MC Rider here with another video and uh, this time I'm gonna give you my first impressions of the new Revit Sand 3 jacket. So uh, stay tuned and we're gonna go over the jacket real quick. Okay so this is the Revit Sand 3. Um, it's uh, the new uh, version of the uh, Sand 2 jacket. Uh, they have I believe uh, three different colors. It has this one, uh, they have a blue, a black, and uh, I think they call it like a, a gray or silver and black or something. Uh, there's a couple of videos about this jacket. It's fairly new, and that's why I wanted to make a video and try to get it out to you guys. So, <clears throat> again, we're just going to go over real quick. Uh, the ripstop uh, nylon, I believe, and um, uh, Cordura, and uh, it has YKK zips. It's, uh, it's not a waterproof outer shell. Now I open it up, and uh, this was uh, the... The deal was snapped on, and uh, when I tried to undo it, it's, it should be fairly easy. Like right now, it's pretty easy to un uh, unsnap it. This thing wasn't uh, put on this deal on this little slider properly, and so and it was broke. Uh, the zippers move fairly easy. Uh, again, it's YKK zips uh, with the Revit logo, so they are they're awesome. And uh, but I'm gonna go over the the liners and the adjustability real quick, and then I'm gonna put it on, and uh, that way you guys can see kind of how it fits. But anyways. So okay, you have three layers. This is a three-layer system, and you're gonna have, uh, of course, your outer shell, which is all the abrasion resistance stuff, and it is uh, pretty good. It's, it's actually comparable to the uh, BMW jacket, the Rally uh, Three, I think it is. The, all the materials are actually comparable to that. I believe this material right here is actually the same, uh, just different color. Uh, this another thing right here I'm noticing is a little, uh, I guess, poor quality control, but I don't think it's a big deal to me, anyways. If you would receive the jacket, you probably want to exchange it because of these little things. It's not a deal breaker to me, it's just a little uh, piece of fabric that is kind of like being uh Yeah, so I mean, yeah, for the price you're paying, uh, this is a $500 jacket, uh, it should be flawless. So again, uh, a little thing right here, and then this. Okay, let's dive into the, the layers. So, we unzip the main zipper, the outer shell. You're gonna go into the liners. So starting from the, basically the one close to your body, you're gonna have a, a thermal liner. Uh, and I don't know how good this thermal liner is. I haven't tested the jacket, obviously I just received it today. So thermal liner, and then attached to the thermal liner, you're gonna have the waterproof breathable liner, which I think uh, they call it uh, Hydratex. Uh, this is the 3L, uh, which is the detachable one. And, uh, and then this too, basically, I mean, you can detach them separately. You can detach the thermal and just leave the waterproof or you can put the thermal liner without the waterproof liner or you can take everything off and just ride the shell. They both have pockets. The, just the, the shell basically, it has a, a pocket in here too. And of course it's mesh and it's, it's very comfortable. So, okay, so that's basically the liners that you get in there. When I take these liners off, I'm gonna show you a little more inside. But you have this banji cord kind of stuff to cinch it in and uh, to make it feel a little bit better, I guess, uh, when you're riding maybe in the, in the uh, rain. Then uh, you have some vents here on your arms. The vents for the arms now, they only go basically from your elbow up to here. Now you have the whole full zipper here, so you can actually open the whole thing down. But if you can see here, the uh, yeah, you can open it all up, but you over here won't have any any uh, mesh. So yes, you can you can still have breathability through here, and it will work as a vent for sure. But you don't have the mesh. In other words, the mesh just stops up to here, which is basically where your uh, mid forearm would be. And uh, but again, you can still have air flow through here, so it's not a big deal. And one of the things I notice is that here, the, the mesh is kind of like I don't know. I think eventually, if you're not careful, you can uh, uh, bite it with a, with a zipper and you can probably mess it up. So you, you may want to be careful every time you zip it back up. Uh, but again, you know, when you zip it back up, just be careful with that. And then, of course, everything is mirror image. So in other words, you have a vent on this arm. Obviously, you're going to have one on this other arm. So, um, but anyway, you have chest vents over here, which are pretty big. And uh, then on your on your back, if we flip the jacket on the back side, you have uh, a mesh uh, vent, so the exhaust vents basically. Uh, these aren't huge, but I think um, I think they're big enough 
for the exhaust vents, you know. Uh, again, you don't have any exhaust vents on your arms either. So basically the only exhaust vents you have for the jacket are back here on your back. So uh, I think they're big enough uh, for, uh, for that. Uh, but the actual test, the real test will be during the summertime, uh, around June, July, August. Uh, here in, uh, in 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 the south, uh, uh, this is Louisiana in the United States. So, uh, with temperatures from uh, 90 to 105 degrees and 100% humidity, uh, that would be definitely a, a pretty damn good test for this jacket. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna be that comfortable to ride it. Uh, to ride in this jacket uh, in those weather conditions, I think you can do it, but you're still gonna sweat your butt off. I mean, it's. I haven't met, I haven't wear, I wore a jacket that actually uh, it's, it's extremely comfortable in the, in the summertime just because of the humidity, it's, it's, it's brutal. So, uh, but we'll test it, I mean I'm gonna ride it like that and see. Uh, if it doesn't pass, if it doesn't feel com super comfy or anything, I wouldn't be surprised because uh, the, the, the weather conditions down here in the summer are freaking horrible, it's hot as hell. So, uh, okay, so that's the exhaust vents. The this is adjustability. This is basically your your kind of like lower chest uh, adjustability, and it has this little uh, rail system to adjust, and uh, it works actually pretty nice. And this right here, uh, it's your waist adjustment. So uh, you can adjust the jacket at your waist, and again uh, at your lower slash mid chest. So and it adjusts super nice. It feels really good. So. Um, and then you have this uh, rabbit pocket right here for honestly I don't think you can put a light in there one of the liners here maybe one I don't think you can put both liners in here uh, but I don't know maybe you can I haven't tried it so uh, I have to put them there which I might, we might try it so anyways so that's the back that's the front again you have adjustability on your arms you have adjustability in your forearms and you also have You also have adjustability in your uh, biceps, and this is just the snaps. So uh, it's a snap adjustability for your uh, biceps. So, all right, so we have the jacket. We're gonna take the liners off, and uh, then we're gonna put it on, and then we're gonna do the whole uh, liner in and out dance thing. So take the liners off. Uh, the way I'm gonna do it, you can take liner by liner. You can peel them off one by one. But just to show you, basically, without all the liners, uh, I'm just gonna take the waterproof liner off. And uh, obviously, this one is attached. The thermal liner is attached to the waterproof liner, so both liners are going to come up at once. So uh, there are a couple things you have to do. You have to unzip the waterproof liner here and here. Okay. You, there's a snap up here at the, I guess, the neck of the jacket, in the back. You're going to have to un unsnap that, and then you have two snaps on each sleeve. One of the snaps is going to be at the cuff. And the other snap is going to be at the very end of the, the mesh. So we're going to snap that. And same thing on here and here. Now we can just pull this off. It should just pull right off. Okay. So before we dive into the jacket, this is basically it. This is the, the waterproof liner. It's not Gore-Tex. So this is a waterproof liner, and again, it's attached to the um, uh, thermal liner is attached to it, and you can also take the, the thermal liner off. So again, it's kind of like a, you can peel them off one by one. Now that I have to, to both of them, we're gonna try to put them in the rabbit pouch. There. Well, that's gonna be. Now you have this ball pushed on your lower back. So, but they fit. So, the, so I guess that's a good thing. So, anyways, we're gonna go into the inside of the back of the jacket. Of course, I have thermal the liners in there. So, all right. So you have uh, the the inside of the jacket uh, without all the liners off uh, on. Uh, it's it's a mesh. It's a mesh construction. It's very comfortable um, and uh, and, and it's obviously very very breathable. Um, it doesn't have a back protector, which is kind of upsetting. Considering the, the price, although it's not like a thousand dollar jacket like uh, some jackets out there, uh, but anyways, it doesn't have a back protector. You can you have if you want one, you have to buy that separate. But it does have the new uh, C level two 
shoulders and uh, and uh, elbow uh, protectors. Let's take them off here. You can. See. So here it is. This is the uh, the shoulder. So again, CE level two. And uh, it's flexible and of course it's breathable. So look pretty cool. So all right. Okay, so again, you have two pockets here, have one on each side, uh, and they just, you know, just regular mesh pockets there, or whatever, I probably won't ever use them, but you have them there. Um, this is a fleece line, so it's very comfortable, and then there's a neoprene uh, uh, collar right here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, kind of show to you guys how, how it fits without the liners, and we're gonna put the liners on and how it fits with the liner. Okay, so here's the jacket. No liners on. The liners are over here in the, in the uh, rabbit pouch. And so I'm going to go ahead and put it on with the liners on the back. Again, the, the sleeves are unzipped. And the reason why I have them unzipped is because I'm going to put one of the gloves on. I'm not going to put both of them. So we're going to unzip it. We're going to zip it back. And we're going to zip this back up. Okay, right now, I have the liners back here, this rubber pouch, so this is a little bit tight. Uh, I could loosen this up, but still, I mean, it's not super tight, but still, you know. You can, you can run it like that, it's fine. Not super uncomfortable, it's okay. Uh, and again, you can adjust this, and then you can adjust your waist, you can make it looser. So this will give you a little bit more room for if you want it to run with the liners in the back so you don't have to put them on your bike, okay? So I'm going to put my glove on so you can see. And this is without the liners. So without the liners, putting this glove on is a lot easier and quicker. Do that and you can adjust, readjust this since you don't have the liners and that's it. So again, jacket. And we can, you know, snap this on. There you go. So, so obviously without the liners, it's gonna be a little bit looser. But you can adjust all this. You can adjust your biceps too, and it'll it'll be a perfect fit. Okay, so we took the liners off uh, or out of the pocket, the rear pocket, and. Now, you get, you're probably gonna have to take your jacket off to be able to take them off, to get them all the, out of the pocket. There you go. And again, you can adjust all this, you know, same thing here. Make it lighter or whatever. Now I'm gonna put the liners back on, and it's basically gonna be the same fit, it just, you're gonna have to adjust everything. Okay, just a little tip. Uh, to, when you put the liners back on the jacket, to me, I found that it's easier to put the, the basically liners on first. I'm gonna zip them up. Okay. But once it's on, then now you can put your jacket on, and it's just gonna be easier to fit them in and try to put, you know. What I do is I put the gloves on and then I put uh, the liners on top of the gloves. So you get a better seal there. So. And again, that's the jacket with the liners on. It looks very similar. It just obviously fuller, right? You have your thermal liner, you have your uh, waterproof liner on and that's why it looks like this. But. You know, again, same. So, and again, you some accessibility to everything else you have on the uh, other, you know, the vents and everything else. You can still adjust everything. Uh, if you have the back protector, obviously it's gonna be even more snug. So, uh, I find this is comfortable. Uh, again, I'll give you my thoughts on it after I uh, uh, use it for, for a few months. Again, Ride safe and uh, see you later.